risen. He is risen in peace. Hallelujah. Good morning and welcome to our Easter service. A very different service this year, but although we are not together, we can still celebrate. So let us join together as we sing our first hymn, This is the Day. God in prayer, let us pray. Loving God, on this joyful Easter day, our praises rise to you. Although we are apart, we are one in worship. We praise you for the joy at the heart of the faith we profess, a faith not built on the sand of fantasy, but on the rock of Christ. We praise you for the amazing good news of the gospel, timelessly relevant no matter the circumstances. We praise you, God, that you are a sure anchor, no matter how buffeted we are by the storms of life. We praise you for the joy of Easter, for the message that death and darkness are overcome by light, that the pain of the cross is swallowed up by the dawn of the resurrection. Lord, Help us to rediscover you and your good news in this time of trial. Help us to turn to you and your word for guidance. Transform us by the power of the gospel and make us new beings ready to go out and serve you in the world. All is new, God of new beginnings. Our hearts lift to give you thanks. Now, Wherever we are, let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
Our scripture reading for this Easter day is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 28, reading verses 1 to 10. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. For he has been raised as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Amen and may God bless to us this reading from his holy word. And now Charles will play for us I know that my Redeemer liveth by G.F. Handel. 